Hey guys, my name is Sam and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a first aid kit for under $25. First aid equipment can be relatively bulky and pretty expensive, so for this video I've taken out all the unnecessary supplies, leaving only the items that are most likely to save someone's life in a traumatic event. The first item in this kit is going to be a tourniquet. Now for this kit I've chosen the SWAT T. This is a stretch wrap and tuck tourniquet which is a long elastic band that can wrap around an extremity and occlude blood flow if there is major laceration or serious bleeding. Um, this tourniquet also uh, can act as a sling or a compression bandage, so it is relatively multi-use. This tourniquet will run you about $12 on Amazon, which is pretty good compared to the cat tourniquet, which will run you almost $30. The second item in the kit is roller gauze. I recommend you have two of these in your kit at all times. Um, this is good for one, just basic bandaging, and number two, packing wounds at a junctional site in the uh, armpits or groin. Um, they can also be used in a pinch if you take one of these and you just keep it rolled up, put it over a laceration, take the other one and wrap it tight around. That's going to give you a pretty good compression dressing. Uh, a pack of 12 of these will run you about $6 on Amazon as well. The third item in this kit is a trauma pad or an abdominal pad. This is a five by nine sheet of gauze that's used to hold compression over a wound that's either not serious enough to have a tourniquet applied or in an area where a tourniquet can't be applied such as the head or the abdomen. This sheet, for about five of them, it'll run you about $4 on Amazon. And of course, links to everything I've mentioned in this video down below. Now, if you have some money left over, I would recommend um, putting a couple other things in your kit, such as a CPR face shield. Although there is nothing wrong with hands-only CPR and it's rapidly becoming the standard, for somebody that's overdosed or has gone into respiratory arrest, this is a good option to provide rescue breaths. The second item I'd place is, if you're trained in it, an NPA, a nasopharyngeal airway that can be used to open somebody's airway that's unresponsive. And then the third and final uh, item you can put in is a chest seal, an occlusive dressing for any thoracic penetrating injury. Now, for all of these supplies, you don't need a fancy bag or anything. You don't need to go on a website and buy a first aid bag. All you need is a rubber band. So you can take this rubber band, take it around the entire kit, and you're left with a pretty compact bundle that can fit in your pocket, in your backpack, or in your glove compartment of your car. Now, while this kit is not uh, all-inclusive and it's not going to be able to treat everything you come across, it is going to be able to help you save somebody's life in the pre-hospital environment until emergency services can get to them. And if you're going between not carrying a kit or carrying a cheaper first aid kit, this is a good option to go with. That's all I've got for this video. If you think I forgot something or you would include something different in your $25 first aid kit, please leave it in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you're so inclined, and I will see you next time. Audio jungle.